Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I'm continuing on my WTCR championship on Race Room where we are hitting up the big one, the longest track in the calendar. This is the Nürburgring 24-hour sort of round they do uh, where they are a support category to the Nürburgring 24-hour. Last time out in Hungary, it was sort of my first time driving a front-wheel drive car on any sim. Uh, first time driving this sort of touring car, this new era of touring car. So yeah, it was a lot of learning, a lot of... Uh, playing around with the setup, a lot of playing around with my driving style to sort of figure out how you drive one of these things. I mean, it is really, really complicated uh, coming from driving my entire life on rear-wheel drive cars on both real life, uh, in both real life and on the simulators. So yeah, we ran most of the race at the Hungara Ring at the back of the field. However, today, uh, with my knowledge of the Nürburgring Nordschleife, I'm hoping I can actually use that uh, to go and get some sort of decent result. I mean, we're really looking to get a points place finish. We haven't got any points yet after round one. So yeah, two races as per usual. The first race will start however we qualify and the second race will be wherever we finish the first race, unless we finish in the top eight, which they do like a reverse grid. And I must say, I am actually going to be used in these races as somewhat of a warm up because uh, tomorrow I'm going to be doing the full Nürburgring 24 hour. Uh, well, not the full, I'm going to be doing like a shortened version of the Nürburgring 24 hour on race room. There's going to be a hundred AI cars. I've managed to sort of get it all working found the right settings and yeah this is going to be absolutely insane but good little warm-up in the wtcr series without any further ado i'm going to go do a quick qualifying session set the grid and we will get underway here shortly okay so that's qualifying done uh hasn't gone too well i only got one lap in in qualifying because well this lap is literally eight minutes long uh so yeah we are starting off with 25th out of the 27 cars on the grid having said that though our practice pace wasn't too bad so i'm hoping that's going to translate into some sort of decent race pace uh now this race is only going to be two laps because the race is 15 minutes long so you can only really manage two laps around the Nürburgring Nordschleife uh in that amount of time all right you gotta get a good jump here still quite new to getting these front wheel drive cars off the line yeah anyway here we go Nürburgring Nordschleife on race room in the WTCR category Ooh, a bit too much wheel spin too good an idea to really drop the clutch like that. We've really got to protect the fronts around here. Don't want to end lap two with no front tyre left. And big dive bomb into turn one. Oh, pull it up, pull it up, pull it up! Oh, just about... Got a few there. Uh, being doored by someone. Try and get as many as we can on the actual GP Strecke. So the Grand Prix circuit. Because once we get on the Nordschleife, it's going to be really difficult to pass. And we're up into 14, so we gained a couple spots on turn one. Macaress. Oh. Cold tyres first lap. Actually, no, there's no way we have cold tyres. I just <laughs> lit them up on the start. It's just still getting used to this car, to be honest. Compared to the uh, Audi GT3 that I've been practicing in for the Nürburgring 24 hours, this is <laughs> quite a lot different. really quick chicane. I do love this corner. Hard, deep on the brakes. Ooh, side by side. Head contact. Go away. <laughs> so hard to pass on race room. The AI are Pretty good, I must admit. All right, here we go. Onto the Nordschleife for the first time. There are some parts of the uh, lap that I am quicker than the AI, and then others where I seem to struggle. Back ahead too much. Up into 13th though, so we 
Almost carved the field in half. It's been a good start to this race. Okay, a lot of speed in there. Oh, these things are so slow in a straight line. Come on. Alright, now this is probably the sketchiest corner on the whole track. So light through there. Now the car in front is actually the same car that we're driving, same paint scheme. It's kind of ironic. Oh, around the outside, not a place you'd usually make a move. Another spot, if, man, if we can get into the top eight and get that reverse grid start for race two, that would be an awesome start to this weekend. Oh, hold on to it. No. Ow. That's not, oh my God, that's not gone well. That's not gone well at all. Alrighty, so forgetting race number one, uh, we're going to move on to race number two. Attempt number two. Oh my days, we just need a good finish. We have not had a single points finish so far in this series. Come on. It's a good initial getaway, but didn't quite get the bite of the clutch right. Alright. See if we can sneak down turn one again. It worked well in the last race. Free spots! Free spots! Oh, uh. couple there. Up to 15th. Wow. Another good run through turn one. Come on. What have got in front of us? Verne Tashi. Oh my god. that watches WTCR in real life will know that uh, <laughs> Antilla Tashi is a special unit. Ooh. Okay, that's a bit of a checkup. Old Huffy boy with an issue. <laughs> Allergies. But once again, hopefully can we <laughs> can actually survive it this time. We'll survive the AI more like it. Ah, what the... Okay, screwed that all up. Come on. That's one thing about race room I find really interesting. When you actually do touch the grass it is quite realistic you have like no grip over the next couple of corners um, a lot of games you can sort of run on the grass and nothing seems to happen yeah, that's one high speed section already 13th half the field carved up already through the dodgy corner Oh my god, sideways, sideways. Jeez, oh, man, that is so difficult. This is 
hard work. Oh, one's out in the grass. Come on, three spots. <laughs> This is where they all screwed it up last time. Oh, no, they've done it again, they've done it again, they've done it again, they've done it again. Are we going to avoid it this time? Alright, well, it would seem the AI struggle with that corner, but we're up inside the top ten. Oh, man. What a pack we have here. Stable right now. This rendition of the Nordschleife is actually pretty realistic from what I've seen in sort of real life videos. Haven't actually. Ooh, it's a bit late. Jeez. Got it all sort of locked up there. Totally forgot where I was on the track. Yeah, compared to what I've seen in real life videos, you know, I've never actually driven here in real life, but um, hopefully one day. Oh man, screwed that last rhythm section up. So locked up those fronts as well. Flat spots are supposedly a thing in race room. They do hurt the tyre, but unlike our factor, you don't actually feel them in the wheel. That is uh, way deeper than I was planning. Oops. Excuse me coming through. <laughs> Into the carousel. Oh, no. Two cars do not fit <laughs> through there. Screw that up a little bit. Oh, well. It's been a messy first lap. It's not quite used to the AI around here yet. guy ahead of us. We are in a points paying finish right now, even though it's only one point, it's better than none. Get rid of that massive goose egg next to our name. Didn't get a very good run at all. 
Alright, down dotting a hoo. Long ass straight. front end up but uh, race on Audi GT3 Second race in a front wheel drive car on the Nürburgring, that is a, <laughs> a little bit keen. cars behind us fighting so much completely lost time to the car in front
We just burnt out way too much of that front tyre on the first lap. I keep putting on a German accent or saying German words. Um, I'm not taking the piss. I am actually genuinely learning German right now. Uh, trying to learn it for my work in the football industry. Love to go over there at some point. Really do like Germany. back to the car in front. I just, I keep driving to defend and then driving to try and get away and then I make a mistake. It's just been so messy. Really, really messy. Not to mention the balance of the car right now is so towards that understeer. Thankfully you can get away with a couple of wall taps <laughs> in race room. quicker than the AI, I just keep screwing them up, not optimizing them. as possible come dotting a hoe. got about just enough of a gap to protect ourselves here. Oof, what a race. Alright, one last time through this incredibly quick section. Where do I break? I forgot where to break. I went super, super gentle and safe there. Alright, 
on to the start finish straight that will be a ninth place finish so we will actually get some points for once Oof. Man, that was intense that was hard work look at the train of cars we had behind us damn oh mate just about got away with that so ninth place finish after a terrible first race uh, what did we end up getting now in the points so is the lead we are up to 13th in the points so two points from that one that's the 13th out of 27 awesome all right guys well that is the end of this video thanks for tuning in stay tuned for the next round which is going to be at the slovakia ring i think it's called uh yeah i have never driven there before in my life so that's going to be another first for me anyway guys thanks for tuning in stay tuned for the nurburgring 24 that's going to be coming up tomorrow i'm going to be posting out on the channel hopefully we can get a better result in that than what we did today that's going to be a three hour run with 100 ai cars it's going to be absolutely mental we're going to be competing in the gt3 category and yeah as you can see stay tuned for next time uh in the wtcr championship on race room until next time i will catch you guys later